best of five games, but in the end, a computer program beat a human brain at the ancient Chinese board game of Go. Is there a danger with this technology that it gets dangerous, that it can learn not just how to beat human beings in games, but maybe turn against us? In 2016, Google's DeepMind AI didn't just beat the greatest Go player in history, it shattered the boundaries of what we thought machines could achieve. What happened next changed the world forever. In the battle between man versus machine, a computer just came out the victor. Deep Mind put its computer program to the test against one of the brightest minds in the world and won. We went from barely able to control the aircraft to being just a stone cold assassin. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Rock, paper, scissors, Shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs>How about some brand new technology? The year was 2010. The internet was growing, technology was advancing, but we had no idea just how fast things were about to change. We'd seen artificial intelligence in science fiction, but what was about to happen wasn't a distant fantasy. It was real. And it started with one company, DeepMind. Google say their DeepMind system has made another major breakthrough. In AI, that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth. After about eight or nine hours, it was strong enough to be able to go out and defeat Stockfish, the incumbent world champion. DeepMind, created by Demis Hassabis, Shane Legg, and Mustafa Suleiman, became famous for its innovations in reinforcement learning, a form of AI where systems learn to make decisions by trial and error. In 2014, Google acquired DeepMind for over $500 million. To most, it was just another acquisition in Silicon Valley's never-ending tech race. But this time, this time was different. Google is everywhere. They're into everything. They've got smart thermometers now and artificial intelligence. Should we be concerned? For decades, the idea of an intelligent machine seemed impossible. Computers could process data, sure, but to think, to learn, that was something only humans could do. But in 2015, a moment changed everything. AlphaGo, a program designed to master the ancient game of Go, a game with origins tracing back over 2,500 years. To the untrained eye, it looks simple, but in reality, it is the most complex board game ever created by humans. Artificial intelligence researchers have solved the game of Go a decade earlier than expected. The computer named AlphaGo was able to beat the European human champion. In October 2015, in a match against Fan Hui, the original AlphaGo became the first computer program to beat a human professional Go player without handicap on a full-size 19 by 19 board. In 2016, it went one step further. The DC doll is getting ready to rumble. On Wednesday, live across the internet, this professional South Korean Go player will take on artificial intelligence program AlphaGo. It's developing into a very, very dangerous fight. There is a little potential there. And I think maybe he's gonna try to do something. The world watched as Seedol, a master of intuition and instinct, found himself unraveling before a machine. AlphaGo's moves were so unusual, so out of the box, that even seasoned players couldn't understand them. AlphaGo wasn't just playing a game of Go, it was rewriting the rules. I don't really know what AlphaGo is trying to do here. Isidol is very confused. These are not human moves. This move also um, sort of inexplicable. When DeepMind's AI system crushed one of the most complex games in human history, the world was stunned. It wasn't supposed to happen this soon. Yet, it did. AlphaGo was more than just a game. It was a signal. A signal that the age of artificial intelligence had arrived. Almost everybody I know who's an expert on AI believes that they will exceed human intelligence. It's just a question of when. In the world of military innovation, history is littered with revolutions. Nuclear weapons, unmanned drones, cyber warfare. But the next revolution might be the most dangerous of them all.
For years, the military had been quietly experimenting with automation, drones, missiles, and surveillance systems. But AI in combat, that was something different. Right, fight's on. Fight's right on, fight's on. on. Conditions, you can see that range opening up. Banger aggressively maneuvering nose. In 2020, DARPA's Alpha Dog Fight Competition pitted artificial intelligence systems against experienced human pilots. At stake was more than just a victory in a simulation. It was a glimpse into the future of warfare. Under training, we were competing only against other artificial intelligence. But competing against humans directly was kind of the ultimate target. And in a shocking turn of events, the AI system did more than just hold its own. It annihilated the human pilot in a series of dogfights going undefeated. These aircraft, both bangers and herons, we're seeing very smooth control inputs, very deliberate maneuvering oh. as they go through here now with Heron scoring that second kill of the day. The AI outperformed the human pilot in every match. It wasn't bound by physical limitations, no G-forces, no fatigue. It thought faster, it reacted faster. It was, simply put, better. An AI is never scared. There's a human emotional element in the cockpit that an AI just won't have. Fast forward to 2024. In a world first, the AI-controlled X-62A, a modified F-16 went head-to-head -head with real human pilots in a series of live simulated dogfights. The AI was not just flying the plane, it was strategizing, adapting, and at times outmaneuvering the very best. The AI wasn't bound by human limitations. It didn't feel fear, fatigue, or hesitation. It reacted instantly, executing maneuvers that would leave even the most experienced pilots breathless. So they've conducted actual dogfight scenarios against a human crew. And is it winning against people? Yes, yeah. <gasps> Elon Musk and other major tech leaders calling for a pause. In the development of artificial intelligence to consider the risks. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. Now it's saying that AI could manipulate or possibly figure out a way to kill humans. If it gets to be much smarter than us, It'll be very good at manipulation because it will have learned that from us. It'll figure out ways of manipulating people to do what it wants. Mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority. What are those risks? We need to understand these systems better. And I think over that time, we'll also understand the risks involved about runaway systems that are doing unintended consequences or, or, or bad actors using, th using these systems in, in nefarious ways. The alpha dogfight trials were just a glimpse of what's coming. As AI grows smarter, faster, and more capable, we may be entering a new era of warfare, one where human soldiers no longer pull the trigger, but machines do. The question is, in the race of artificial intelligence supremacy, will we control it? Or will it control us?